everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Thanks for being here. Today is a special episode as it is a collaboration with the wonderful and talented Mina Villegas from Mina Villegas Art. Today we are going to do a couple Shelly Art swipes for you all. Since this is a premiere video, what that means is the live chat feature will be turned on. So even though this is a pre-recorded video, you guys can chat with me and her and anyone else who joins in live. I'm going to go first and then we can hop over to Mina's uh, channel. The link will come up and it'll be pinned in the comment section so it'll be easy for you guys to get it. And I'm going to go because I'm nervous about time because my videos are never short and we're trying to keep this under a half an hour. So let me get you down and get started. Thanks for joining. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> so I feel like it wouldn't be a waterfall acrylics video without some sort of fail in it. And I just filmed this and I am not feeling it because um, I've been watching a ton of Jody Flynn and uh, Cindy Vanderveen's videos and both of those are like masters at taking a skewer and then running the skewer through it, you know, and we're, you know, and making like little designs and doing all this kind of stuff. And when they do it, I love it. I adore it. And then when I did it on my art, I hate it. Like, I don't know about you, but have you ever um, felt the same way and then just realized that you really, really, truly appreciate it? but it's just not your aesthetic. That's what those are. Like, it's just not my aesthetic. So I'm gonna forgo those and go again. Um, welcome to the collaboration with Mina Villegas. Uh, real quick, when she and I um, got together to do this collab, we were talking about substrates and we both wanted to use the Fredericks Convexo Rounds, which is what this is. We both were going to do 20 inch ones but for me, that's the size of my tub and it fit in here, but then I couldn't spin it. And in order to really like spin out and get big cells, I mean like spin, spin hard, uh, I would have to tarp up my kitchen like a Dexter kill room. And I just didn't want to go through, it's just too much effort. <laughs> like when I do a bloom, I don't have to spin it that hard because I don't want to make the cells wonky. Anyway, then I thought, well, I'll do it outside in my kitty pool, my kitty pool, my doggy pool, um, and that would work. But the wind for the last three days um, has foiled me. So I messaged me and I'm like, what am I gonna do? And she said, don't worry about it. Just use a smaller canvas, which makes total sense because I'm limited by my kitchen island and she is the master at really large pours. So it works out. So I'm gonna do the 12 inch, she's gonna do the 20 inch. And if you're not familiar with her, please hop over to her channel um, after this one to watch her uh, video. She just hit 40,000 subscribers. And if you're not one of them, please consider subscribing to her channel. She's an amazing artist and more importantly, um, one of the nicest people I've ever met, just a sweetheart. So with all of that said, um, we picked our colors. We have phalo blue. We have, uh, you know, my favorite, Cronacrono Nickel Azel Gold. Oh, I just realized we have like three shades of gold because <laughs> we also have green gold and then we have you know, gold, gold. And these are all by Golden. <laughs> Fluid acrylics. I have both black and cell white activator. Um, I think I'm going to go with black. And the other thing you guys missed was I, um, in this last iteration, I used, I want to do my palette knife. I took my palette knife and I put down my cell activator first and then my colors, and then you flip it so everything's in the right order, and then you do your swipe. The problem with that was 
all the colors would be bunched up and then it would fade into white. So I didn't like that method all that much. So I'm gonna stick with my tried and true. So let's just go ahead and make a big old snake. Or now it's for Superman. And then let's put down some Phenacodon, have it overlap. Something like that. Trying to get some gold in there a little bit. Something like that. And then some green gold. I like to have a little bit of white. We'll see how it goes. There we go. I'm going to use my big palette knife, the one I just showed you. I'm using um, Carbon Black by Artist Loft Professional Series with my Stolen Flow Troll. This is a four to one ratio. Let's tilt it. Can you guys see? Yeah, I'm just moving it around on my palette knife and pouring the excess back into the cup. And I don't think I've ever done a swipe on this type of canvas. I usually bloom on these types of canvases, so this will be fun. All right, all set. We ready? Mm -hmm. Give me some good cells. Give me a cell. Got some white cells. Oh, I got foiled by the corner. <laughs> I like the white cells though. I do, I do. I think they're groovy. And groovy man, the groovy. Let's give that a, a second. I am still so tempted to like try it again, but I'm not. I'm gonna be good, I think. Just gonna let that sew up a second. And give a spin. Um, that last iteration with the uh, giant cells, like that's, there's barely any paint on there. It's not like it's thick or anything, so. All right, let's do this. Won't go too fast just yet. See what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I love the white cells. Those are cool. I just gotta wait a second because with the rounded edges, it like sits there and decides uh, whether to dive bomb off. These canvases make the coolest edges though. I got a cool little feature right there that's just unusual that I like. Oh no, so this whole, you guys can't see, but there's a whole blob um, that's kind of a mess. I think I need to spin it just a little bit more. This might be a quick one tonight. But that's okay. That means you guys can head on over to Mina's channel. Okay, I don't want to lose any more of that. This opened up. I'm not sure about this part. The one thing I'm sad about is um, I have like green gold cells that have fallen off to the side. And do I care that these are lines? Do I care about that really? Do I? I think not. Yep, I'm gonna say ta-da. Just let me check all my um, sides here. This would be a quick one for me. <laughs> for a change, right? Because usually I futz more, but I'm pretty dang happy with this. This is uh that's a winner for me. Let me uh, clean up my fingers and uh, I'll get you down for uh, a close up on the wet results. 
Hey guys, I don't think uh, my little painting is going to be dry in time. Um, so what I thought I would do is just like a little reveal. We can see how dry it is and get you in uh, for a close up. Take a look and then hop on over to Mina's channel. So this is how I put my babies to bed every night. So this is just a little dish towel. There's my picnicking um tent to keep all the gnats and things out of it and let's see how dry this is i think it's still wet on the top but we can get you in yeah see dry on the sides still yep still tacky on top uh one thing i see i'd like while it's drying that's happening is because the phthalo turquoise is getting a little dark that green gold there is really standing out now. That is just gorgeous. And isn't paint funny? Like you guys watch me use black cell activator and then there's all the black. And then as I was swiping, it was like, mm, yeah, I don't feel like being, being black here. I'm gonna go be white and do white lacing. And then after a while, it's like, yeah, let's go back to the other color. It <laughs> switched back. Just so, so fascinating. Um, I did want to show you real quick the edges because uh, these convexo canvases with the rounded edges really makes lovely um, lacing and cells. They tend to keep their shape and fall off the side so nicely. Sorry for the reflection there of my pendant light. Uh, and that it does that all the way around, everywhere. Let me go around this way. As I mess up my tarp. Yeah, you can see it over here, the orange and the green, just really pretty. And I there's just, that part is just wow. Wow, wow, wow. I even like how it went from the white lacing into the gold lacing right here. Do you see that? Just paint is just so fascinating. So there it is, almost dry. Uh, let's, let me flip around and say goodbye. <laughs> am I there? There I am. That's it for me, you guys. Uh, if you like those convexo canvases, they come in multiple sizes and shapes. You can get them as squares as well, or at least rectangles. I have them in my Amazon shop uh, under substrates. The link is in the description section, or if Amazon is sold out, you can always head to uh, Dick Blix and pick them up there. And with that, I bid you adieu. Please like, share, and subscribe, and let's hop on over to Mina's channel to see what she has in store for us. You guys take care, and peace out.